This is 50.com. I finally got my exclusive with my man, Jack Thrill. I made it, ma. Rest in peace. I love you. She want to do it like some animal. I said I'm with it because for real, girl, I'm an animal. If, if, if we did that, it'd be more that you can handle them. Benzino, what's going on, man? Thriller, <laughs> what's Yo, up, baby? Well, you you even had a very colorful season on Love and Hip Hop. Why? Why? What? Don't do that with all these securities. Don't do that with all these securities. Yeah. Just do that out there. No, we do it right now. We can do it right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, let's do it. Come on, let's do it. Come on, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. Man, you got shot. Right, you right. About to get married. Yup, yup, Man, yep. You, you, you ain't with your best friend no more. Man, I, I, that, 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 that thing was probably harder than getting shot, you know? Yeah, man, he just was on the carpet, said he gonna beat your ass. Yeah, he yeah, ain't, man, come on, man. You know, that man play piano, man. Well, <laughs> you, you will break them fingers, like, man, make sure he'll listen, never man, play again. Listen, man, I ain't got, you know what I mean? I'm here for all love, positive peace around the world. All that violent shit, say that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yo, dog, y'all was going hard on that reunion. Yeah, you know, but you know what I'm saying, man, when you look at it, it ain't nothing I was too proud of, you know, all that craziness, because you know there's a lot of young kids out there watching, you know, I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? They do that shit too. Right, you know what I mean? They be beating each other yeah, ass but you know, in but school. You know what, but at some point- They ain't we, doing it because of you. No, but at some point we gotta, you know- No, they mama got her, and they daddy got her. Yeah, but at some point they mama and daddy gotta wisen up, man, because you know, that's the, the kids are the future, and if we out here doing crazy shit, then how are we gonna expect them to, to, to act right? <laughs> You know, right, now I'm glad you said that because right. I wanted to clear up something yep. that's from long ago. Right. That's uh, um, you know what I'm saying, and that was between you and Eminem. Man, these little boys ain't built for beat. Nah. Stick to rap before you get killed in the street. I'm calling you out, bitch. We can knuckle it up. Bet a hundred fifty grand that I'm fucking you up. The source was like the only source of light when the mics used to mean something. The four was like you were the shit. Now it's like the least you get. Three and a half now just means you a piece of shit. Right. Now, what was your situation with Eminem? And where you are mentally man, right now with that? That, that, that was so far. I man, I would love to have a conversation, sit down, just meet him. We never even met. I, mean, I think it'd be good, you know what I'm saying? I think a lot of it was blown out of proportion, but the flip side of it, it's battling, it's, 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 it's rapping, you know what I'm saying? He spit, I spit. You know, he's a great lyricist, man, and you know, time go on. I come from the streets, so to me, it really wasn't no beef, because beef, you know, we, Thriller, you know what beef is. I, like this dude, I buried him already. He's speaking from the grave, Angie. So this dude is a fat 40-year-old shriveled up, wrinkled prune with a big puffy, with big puffy clown hair. So take them cards that you're dealt with and say that in your rap. Don't blame me. Don't blame me because you suck. I truly believe, and I'm not even exaggerating, this dude could possibly be the worst rapper in the world. No, you know, exactly. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? I, I, I didn't look at it like that. Other people did, but I wasn't looking at it like that. Man, I, on my side of the fence, People really did look at it where, where yeah, I, I know where, that. My, I see that. Yeah, you know, yeah. The media so blows shit out If you could say of anything to him, what would you say? Man, what's up? What's up, M? You know what I'm saying? Holla at me. Let's, you know, just sit down, have some lunch one time, and just meet each other. You know, you never know. We just might like each other. Mm -hmm. You know? Really. And if he did feel his curtain kind of way, do you apologize? I mean, no, no. You know what? I, I went on MTV, and I said as far as to getting the personal stuff about the family and all that, I don't think it should have went that far. And 
You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want white folks thinking that it was a racist thing or nothing. Right. That. So yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, it's all about moving forward. That was so long ago, and so much stuff that done happened since then, it's like, I'm moving forward, you know what I'm saying? So I think it'd be positive if we, if we was to get together and Word. try to, you know what I'm saying, sit down, and again, so that the youth can see black, white, you know what I'm saying, Puerto Rican, Haitian, Latino, Asian, everybody could see, man, if they could sit down, anybody could. Ain't that serious, it wasn't that serious. Cool. Try to tell her, keep it low, keep it low.